It's day two of the project. I made my material list the other day. I figured out everything. I pulled the TV out of the box and I kind of looked at that. I kind of got my bearings on understanding how it goes in. And then I went to the store and got all my materials. So now I'm ready to show you how it's done. What you gotta do is just gonna set the TV down here. Be real careful with it because you don't want to scratch or mark up the face of it or anything like that. And I got out the mounting bracket assembly directions. You just kind of have to kind of read that and see what you're gonna do. Each TV has different ones, so don't be too concerned about this one. Your bracket assembly might be different, but you just have to go through the same steps, figure out what, what base goes on here and all that. Figure out, you know, once you have the TV flat, the main thing you want to do is make sure you remember what's the top of the TV and what's the bottom so you don't get mixed up backwards and start measuring from the, from the top thinking it's the bottom and vice versa because that's going to be really important to figure out because you remember on this TV, we want about five feet and actually I decided five feet two inches to the bottom edge of the TV once we get it installed. Well, this is how we're going to have to do it. We got to figure out the back side, how, how that's all going to fit and all that. And I've already taken out the backing plate and I put that on. This is the backing plate here. And I looked at the directions, make sure you get it up right side up and all that. And uh, you have to, here's, here's my arm piece. And I had to figure out how that's going to slide on here and all of that before I can get my measurements, you know? So I looked at that before and kind of slid that on there. You have to, when you do that, you got to kind of hold this up and make sure. Because at first I thought that might be wrong. And when I lifted it, pulled it, you know, it's fine. And so I know this bracket assembly is the center of the TV. And when this arm goes over and gets bolted up to the wall, this piece here is going to be the piece that's bolted right up against the wall. Okay? So I've got a, remember I wanted the, the middle, so I had the bolt marked on the floor, but then I had to measure over from the center of that bracket to the center of this bracket so that that will tell me exactly what I need. Okay? So I measured over about three and three quarters of an inch because this is the actual piece that's going to be bolted up to the wall. You see, once it goes up like that, this has to be bolted up to the wall. And the, and the thing is, you can't just bolt that right to the sheetrock wall. We've got to find the studs, right? And I'll show you how to figure that out. Okay, so we know three and three quarters over, all right? So now we'll go back down to the carpet, show you what we do next. Just so you know, I mean, each TV bracket assembly is different. You've got to get the bracket assembly directions out. This one had two different bracket assemblies to put back here because it's modified to accept pretty much any TV. Uh, the, the whole pattern may not be the same for your TV, so you may not need this bracket. You may have a different bracket, but they're pretty much universal. Okay, so I don't want you to think this was just something I kind of threw together because I did a little bit of planning on this and I kind of pulled out everything and I've not installed, I have not installed this type of bracket assembly before. That's why I'm going and reading the directions like I should. Don't think you, you, you can figure it out without, without going through the directions, okay? And uh, that way I can see where everything's at and all that. Okay? You can do it. So like I say, spend some time on this. Read your directions. Make sure your bracket assembly is going up right, that you understand everything, how it works, before figuring out what to do next. Because see, once this bracket is on here, I get it hooked on, and I figure out which way it goes and lift it up and all that 
And I know that's right, and that's the bottom. Remember, I wanted five feet two inches to the bottom edge of the TV. So I know this is the bottom. I know this is up tight. So I've got to measure five feet two inches from this edge. Then I have to measure up to the bottom of this bracket that's going to be bolted to the, to the wall. So the easiest way to do it is just hold your tape out. I got five feet two inches right to this edge where this the bottom edge is. And then I can look up here to the edge of the bottom of this bracket assembly. Okay? I got 69 and 3 eighths. So I know. This is where the bottom of the bracket has to be bolted up to the wall, right? Then that will allow this room here. I couldn't just bolt that at five foot two and say, okay, that's fine. Put the TV up there. Uh-oh, you forgot about that. Uh-oh, you measured from the top down and you thought that was the bottom of the TV. So you, so you measured five feet two from here to there and now you're wrong. So see, that's why you just spend a little bit of time, get your bearings, understand your project, before you start bolting anything up to the wall and making holes, because you want to do this right the first time. Okay, so things along the way, you've got to remember these measurements. Write them down. You know, 69 and 3 eighths to the bottom of there. And we got to figure out where the center was. We marked over 3 and 3 quarters. And so this, it's, it's the same type of, of uh, processes you're going to have to go through for your TV. Don't remember my exact measurements because your TV is going to be different. But follow the steps and you'll do it. So ideally what we got was three and three quarters over from there, remember? Okay, so I'm just going to hold my pin up here. This, this, is, this is not exact. It's going to be close enough for right now. That's, that's Ideally that's where I'd like to put my bracket up on the wall. But now, there might not be a stud exactly there. Okay, so now I've got to figure out where the studs are. And here's, here's the other thing. You see where that is going to go? And here's a plug here, and here's the cable for the TV. Now I know that there's probably a stud either right there beside this box or right there beside the box. The same thing over here is probably going to be right there or right there because the studs are probably 16 inch on center. The box is usually nailed to the edge of a stud either here or over there. So if I just hold my tape there to about there, I can see that that's going to be about where a stud could be or it's going to be there and there. Now, that's not always gospel, okay, because they might have laid out the wall differently. It might be two foot on center. Uh, they might have had to add an, another stud in the wall for something. This could be a cut-in box for all you know, and it might not even be next to a stud. So those are the types of things we need to look at. And, you know, if I have to go over to, to the edge of, a, of that plug, that's okay. That's still pretty close to center of the wall. You know what I mean? So, what's our next step? We need to find out where the stud is, don't we? You want to do that a couple times on the wall. So, I'm over on the right hand side of that plug and this looks like 16 inch center, like I was saying before. There's probably a stud right there. Sometimes when you put this on the wall, if it starts, you may have to clear it, push the button a couple times, and then sl start sliding it. Now see, I know I'm starting to hit something because it's red and then it comes up. You know, that time it's just flashing, usually the red light, boom, 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 green, red, 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 green, and uh, this one's not doing that this time, but I know there's a stud.
probably right there. And you can knock on the wall too. Hear that? A higher pitch. Lower hollow pitch means there's nothing there. So see this wall is hollow in here, no stud at all. When I get close to a stud, listen. It's a definite different noise. Hollow, solid, high pitch. It's kind of a feel. So there's another way to check. I'm going to show you one other way you can do it as well.